Hey everyone, welcome to my Queen of the Week video series where I'm featuring past and present clients that I've had over the years. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Kelly Tyen. I'm the owner of Kelly's Bootcamp for Women in Worcester, Mass and the creator of the 8-Week Reset Your Metabolism program. I am so excited to share with you beautiful women because I believe they all need it. You know, they all want a chance to shine. They all deserve a chance to shine. They're working so hard. And if they can do it, I believe you can do it. So I'm here to introduce a client of mine. Her name is Manu Desai. She's been with me for a long time and she's extremely dedicated. And I'd love her to just tell a little bit about herself. And I'm gonna ask her some questions. So Manu, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much for having. being here. Love to. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm a mom, I have two kids, 18 and 16, a boy and a girl. Um, I'm a wife, I'm a, I keep you know, track, track of the house, I do all the housework stuff, but I also work full time. I am a chip designer, I work for a company called NVIDIA, and I love to do things with family and I keep myself very busy. You're very busy. Mm -hmm. So what do you love about health and fitness? Um, the way it makes me feel. I feel so energetic mm -hmm. for someone my age because I'm over 50 and did you guys hear that she yes, just said over 50 over 50 and you're gonna tell me fitness and exercise doesn't keep you young it does so that's what I feel I feel like a lot of energy people who are 10 12 years younger than me are always complaining their back hurts they're tired they're this they're that and I feel so great. I feel like I can run and do Mount Mananak with the kids. I can, you know, do a race with my amazing. son. I can do so many things. So that's why I do it. That is so amazing. And honestly, that's what is so inspiring about her because she has a full-time career, runs her home, yet she fits it in and she feels good. So that is just dedication. How long have you been dedicated like this? Um, so I started after my son was born 16 years ago okay. because after the second baby, I wasn't able to lose the weight the way I did with the first one. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, they say eat well and exercise, so let me try those things. And I started doing it and I have not taken a real break for 16 years because oh I love God. it. I love it so much. Commitment. Yeah. So that keeps you going. Yeah. And that's awesome. Well, that leads into my next question is, what advice can you give women that might want to give up if they're not necessarily seeing results and they start working out and after a month, you know, people want fast results, but in fitness, sometimes it's not overnight. We're not a microwave. It's, it's not click the button and you have um, a six pack. What right. advice can you give women that just get frustrated? and want to give up. I mean, don't give up. Stick with it because the longer you do it, the better you will get, um, the harder things you will pursue, and you will get fit. I 100% guarantee anyone who's eating right and working out yep. will be fit. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to necessarily try to be like someone else because we are all born with our own genetics and everything else, but I guarantee you, whatever you are today, you can be much better version of yourself. I you love that. It. I love what you just yeah. said. We are not and yeah. we're gonna look like the each next other. girl yeah. or each other. Yeah. And you can't compare. Nope. And you just have to keep going. Mm -hmm. I love that answer, that is amazing. Um, so what motivates you to just stay on track? Like, to wake up every day? Um, well, now I'm addicted to it, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, at first, it was the results. Once, mm -hmm. like, eight weeks went by, 10 weeks went by. And it wasn't that I was losing weight or anything like that. It was just I was getting so much stronger. Mm -hmm. And then I started to see muscle definition. Mm -hmm. And then it just became like this thing where I wanted to challenge myself and be better, you know? So awesome. that's what's kept me going. Do you ever fall off track? I don't. Um, that's unusual. People do. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband and my kids, they do fall off track. Mm -hmm. um, I just stay on it because it's the one thing I do for myself and I love it. Right. But, you know, not everyone's going to love it. Some mm -hmm. people are going to hate it during the exercise, mm -hmm. but afterwards you will feel so good. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. So, it is worth it. Yeah. No one's ever finished a workout and regretted it. <laughs> no. You finish it and you're like, yes, I did right. it. Right. Yeah. You, you, you drag sometimes walking in, yes. but you come out. With a smile, awesome. feeling mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. So there's no regrets when you finish a workout. You just have to do it, right? right? Awesome. So my last question would be, what is your best advice for self-love? What can you tell women out there about self-love? Um, I believe that everyone, every woman, because we are 
we're moms and we're you know we're daughters and we have all these responsibilities to others we need to make time for ourselves absolutely and that's the one thing I learned early on that um, I was trying to work out in the evenings and it wasn't working out because my family would call me with all kinds of emergencies mm -hmm. and I'd have to run back um, so I decided if I want to do it for myself, I'm going to get up when they're all sleeping. Mm -hmm. They cannot bother me because mm -hmm. it's that important. Exactly. You've got to do something for yourself. Um, also, take time out and do things with my friends. So I'm mm -hmm. not always um, doing stuff for others. Mm -hmm. I'm doing some things for me, fun things too. And that's so important. Yeah, I think they recharge you. Definitely. And I think women feel guilty sometimes yeah. if they have to leave and go to the gym. But honestly, it's the best thing you can do for yourself, like you said. Right. If, Plus for it's self healthy, love. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. To love yourself is to give yourself that time that you need to rejuvenate, regenerate. Right. You know exactly what you said. So that's an awesome answer. So let me ask you this: mm -hmm. Do you have a cheat meal? Since you're so disciplined. Yes, I do. <laughs> I cheat on the weekends. I drink wine. I love wine. So I have a little Who bit every day. Every day. <laughs> Uh, when I make dinner, I have a tiny bit, um, mm -hmm. probably less than four ounces, mm -hmm. but it really helps me. But my cheat meal is probably, you know, pizza or um, on the weekends, I'll go out to dinner and mm -hmm. I'll eat whatever I want. I'll eat fries, I'll eat whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I do it in moderation. I do like, you know, just on the weekend, during the week, I'm really clean. Perfect. Yeah. And again, that's balance. Yeah, so because great. like if you are always depriving yourself, you're never going to feel good. Exactly. I know the weekend's coming. I know mm -hmm. I'm going to get something fun. So it's fine. Exactly. Yeah. And that's all. That's what it's about. No deprivation. I talk about it all the time. When you deprive, you're just getting yourself into a vicious cycle. Yeah. Of... And your metabolism slows down. Exactly. It's really not helping. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I love all your answers and I appreciate you as a client. And if you guys enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Kelly's Bootcamp, you can go to my website, kellysbootcampforwomen.com, or you can message me on social media. Facebook is Kelly Tyen, Instagram is at Kelly Tyen. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And don't forget to check, check out my eight week reset program and also my women empowerment events coming soon. Thank you all for listening. See you all in the next one.